Here's a quick look at this M416 military trailer. So according to the original plate, which I discovered under the uh, paint that was on here, this looks like a 1967, which is the delivery date, uh, M416 quarter ton trailer. There's the original serial number and manufacture date 1967. I ordered some new identification plates which I put on and, and I re-stamped the original serial number and numbers that that were on the plate so put them back in the original position so that is all good to go body's been rubberized uh, the previous owner it seems did repair a couple of places um, welded in some new panels there but it did a pretty good job at that I think it will last the um, fenders very sturdy it's got some heavy-duty trailer tires on so these aren't currently all-terrain tires or off-road tires but they are uh, pretty heavy-duty trailer tires so I'm pretty sure they uh, they more than enough for what is needed so that looks good um, I installed some rotor packs on the side so we have a rotor pack for water on the one side one for fuel on the other side just as backups has the original handbrake mechanism it does work but it needs servicing so it's a bit tight and it doesn't really stop the wheels so this that needs uh, to be serviced uh, it's got the original uh, lunette ring it has the original hooks and chains on it uh, the wiring was redone uh, it is working it is functional so trailer light wiring is brand new it has original leg attached to this as well it's got brand new lights on the back with the wiring and right then what I did was I installed the Denute brackets. So these are installed stainless steel mounting. Uh, and I put the Denute crossbars on here as well, heavy duty square tubing. So that is ready to have a rooftop tent mounted. I initially had a canvas cover the one over here the green one that was on top of this um, and it, it, it just didn't seal properly so when you go on a dirt road there's actually still some sand and stuff stuck in the corners here uh, that dust just gets in everywhere and so I came back and decided to see if I can put some kind of cover on the top here so with the rooftop tent that comes right over here uh, I made two hatches, one in the back and one in the front. So this lifts up. It has some assists here, uh, keeps it up and helps uh, you open up with one hand. And then I've got all my camping gear inside. So if I take the chair out. All right, so I have some of these plastic bins. You can store your things in. Um, the bed is in pretty good shape uh, it has all been lined all right so I have a latch and I have another um, couple of just locks on the side just to prevent this thing from flapping around and helping to seal this off a little bit more I have rubber seals all around and I have the same hatch in the front. So there we go in the front. And here we have some more, some more of these bins. Now, underneath these bins, I have the original, uh, it's a new, brand new room for these M416 trailers. It does not have a tire on currently. So I, this uh, spare wheel still needs a tire, but that, at the moment it's just laying flat in the front of the trailer over there all right so then we've got this here now 
underneath the tent, this area here. Uh, initially, I had the tent just laying on top of the carrier here, so it was quite low, um, and I couldn't really utilize the space, so I bought this box. That's on top here, it's got a little hatch that lifts up, and I've got tables in here, um, got my wiring adapter, which I'll show now. Then we've got on this end, we've got our camping toilet, ground sheets, so anything that needs to be accessible is placed in there. Right. Then on the front end here, I made a little cover over a box and this is the uh, lighting and power for the trailer. So I have a lead that can um, plug into the input, which is at the top there. So we have a 12 volt supply that plugs in there and then you can plug that into any auxiliary output. So either at the back of your uh, off-road vehicle or tow vehicle or onto uh, any power supply that will give you a 12 volts so that plugs in there it's got auxiliary um, power outlet it's got some usb outlets over there with a voltmeter and then i have two switches over here uh, the one is not currently wired up but there is a spare wire for it on the inside of the box here if you wanted to add some external lights or something that you want to run from that switch, the second switch switches uh, some LED lights that are inside this cabinet, as well as inside each of these areas over here. There's a strip, strip light that's uh, attached to the top that uh, works off of that switch. All right, so we've got a power box uh, set up on there as well. So yeah, that is the M416 trailer. All right, so I currently utilize uh, this old Smitty built rooftop tent that goes on top here. It is not adjustable at the moment, so it's quite low, which is good and bad. Um, it's easily accessible, uh, but it does get in the way once you flip it open. Uh, so, yep. Uh, I think the next upgrade on this would be some telescopic lifts to raise and lower the tent. Yeah, so I have uh, some other videos on my channel with uh, us camping using this trailer and this minimal tent uh, at the Dinner Ranch and Du Bois uh, campgrounds out here in Florida. So uh, if you're interested to see the setup with the tent and uh, as well as the awning, uh, check out the other videos right, thank you for watching and if you have not yet subscribed uh, please hit that subscribe button uh, we appreciate all the support we can get